as part of the move towards taking the island away from its dependence on fossil fuels. We're going to be trying to set an example at government level by um, wherever it is possible sourcing new vehicles which will be electric or hybrid and that will be as of the 1st of April this year so that going forward and, and we do accept that at this stage it is not possible to have every type of vehicle uh, replicated in electric or um, hybrid type models but wherever it is possible government will be looking at doing that um, in the hope of the private sector following pattern. Part of the challenges we have is that the planning windows in international um, marketplaces are very short and so therefore people make a vehicle with a view to five years down the road, um, uh, the, the technology changing, so that there are still not electric vehicles in every type of model um, to replace all that would be in government's fleets or across the island for that matter. Um, what we are also doing is to have the necessary studies on what are the performance of electric vehicles and the Ministry of Energy is doing that now so that we're looking at making sure that customer satisfaction is something that we can guarantee by virtue of the fact that we know how various types of electric vehicles perform, whether they be buses, whether they be trucks, whatever. And um, so that when the time comes that there are more of them on the roads of Barbados, there's a comfort level in the Barbadians' minds as to what you're about to buy and how it can be maintained. And that, of course, means that we also have to go through the process of training a large amount of people on how to, um, how to service and maintain these vehicles. The other challenge that we have is that we have now to think in terms of building out the infrastructure for the country so that we have the charging ports in more places they're, they're more readily accessible um, across the island. It is equally important that this discussion take place now across a wide amount of stakeholders. The transport board obviously has to be involved. The agriculture sector is already at the table with us because of the fact that a large amount of vehicles in the agriculture sector are diesel and they're going to have to be phased out um, over a period of the next nine years or so. And the kind of fuels that we will be looking at because again, fuel compatibility with vehicles is, is going to be important. They have to be converted into a type of biofuel that will be feasible and workable and cost effective and affordable. So those are the considerations that we are looking at and the discussions are being had by the ministry right now and will intensify as the year goes on. Yeah, so far, so far, so good. In fact, quite frankly, in some instances, even better. There are some people who are driving hybrids who tell me, for example, that right now they visit the gas station maybe once or twice a month and they're going to town and back or, or to their places of work and back every day. So there's, there's clearly uh, uh, a, a good performance. We have no challenges whatsoever with the electric buses. They have been um, wonderful and we intend to put more on the fleet. So it is a process, but again, at every step of the way, we want to dot I's and cross T's to make sure that we protect the well-being of the consumers because people need to be certain that when you, when you ask them to change out their vehicles that they are going to be investing in something that, that makes sense and, and, and is not, um, you know, not a melon as they say in the industry. So, so those are the kind of things that we are looking at. Um, technology obviously is impl improving worldwide. We are the importers of the technology because we don't produce any of these things in Barbados. So we're looking to see what are the best deals available, uh, the best places to source, and of course, the, the best quality um, that you, you, can, you can place on the roads.